Ken here, the unemployed prop guy. Let's talk about rust. A lot of times you have to paint something rusty quite fast and it has to dry within a half hour. So I came up with this technique about 25 years ago. Just two cans of spray paint and a water bottle. Uh, you could add other techniques, which I'll show you in the video to add streaks. The great thing about this is it's just damn fast. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Okay, these are my supplies. Spray paint, flat black, uh, red oxide or rust, this is your primer. The cheaper paint, the better. Uh, slower drying. Uh, water spray bottle, gloves, respirator, which it's over there. Uh, little dust guns for Fuller's Earth. Uh, Fuller's Earth. Uh, a little uh, yellow okra or something, a uh, little red oxide paint, a couple of spray bottles, some uh, uh, alcohol, rubber gloves, gaff tape, you know, that kind of thing stuff. Okay. Okay, first thing I do is I wet down the whole piece with just water to start adding color. Now be careful. Uh, what you use to glue down your objects. I once used uh, liquid nails and then mixed acetone in my uh, solution and the bolts started falling off. <laughs> started hearing these big bangs and yeah. So as you can see, I'm just adding layers and texture, hitting it with water and color, not worrying if I screw up or I'm too heavy. Gotta be careful of trying to get even so you don't have too splotchy. Um, just lots of water and lots of spraying. It's very messy, and yes, you have to wear a respirator. This nasty paint. See, I'm painting right underneath the bolts and letting the drips just run, creating age. Not really worrying about anything other than just having fun and knowing when to stop. That's always the hardest part. You get carried away sometimes. I'm just trying to blend and kind of have it even. And you get to a point when you're just like, yeah, that looks good. I'm going to go to the next step. Let's mix some paint. Okay, you got a little water in here. Add a little alcohol. Add a little paint. Mix it all up. Add a little bit more paint. Mix, 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 mix. Put it into the bottle without spilling much. Do the same for the next color. Okay, so when you get to this point, only thing you need to do is a little touch ups. Add a little yellow. And if that's too much, you go back to red oxide. Give it some runs. And just let the runs go where they want to go. You could even do a little spot there because something was there at one time. And then you could also fan it out with a brush. Just kind of knock it down a little bit. Depends how subtle you need to go.
Last thing to do is let it dry and then about to come back with Fuller's Earth. Okay, this is my Fuller's Earth, which is a dust. It's a clay ground up. Uh, let's have some fun kind of dusting the whole piece. So here's the finished piece, and as you can see, with just three colors, red oxide, flat black, and yellow okra, I was able to create a believable 100-year-old rusty object. Um, a little dust full of earth to kind of get it a little more dull, um, and that's about it. Um, the great thing about this is if you decide to paint the original surface a robin's egg uh, blue um, and you go a little bit lighter on the paint and a little heavier on the water you would have more of the color coming through um, you do edges and masking and all that kind of stuff. you just play and you know this is just really easy really fast and it dries really fast with a hair dryer you could dry an object in 15 20 minutes depending on how large it is um, hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, please subscribe and uh, share and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.